In this episode, Heinz Ward deals with his first major setback on his road to become an Ironman. We are now only four weeks away from the Ironman World Championship on Become One. We are here in Atlanta, Georgia. During the last six months on his journey to becoming an Ironman, Hines has lost nearly 40 pounds and has become proficient at swimming, cycling, and running. He has gone from being a short distance, fast twitch football star to an endurance machine. But with the Ironman looming only four weeks away, the pressure is on. Up until this point, Hines has checked off all the boxes and done everything right. Right now, with the football season kicking off, Hines is juggling work, family, and training. Hines has also experienced his first setback. His coach and eight-time Ironman world champion, Paul Newby Frazier, is back in Atlanta to assess the damage and test his fitness level. Okay, so I'm here in Atlanta, and this is really his last couple weeks of preparation for Kona. Mostly I want to be with him to make sure that he stays on track and that he is back on track after his injury. He was pushing too hard, flat out pushing no. too hard. She had me training the Tour de France. You know, there had been a few adjustments to his bike position. It's on the last five miles of the ride that his quad starts to hurt. Paula sent me in the mountains to do a mountain ride. It was just one of those days where grinding up the hill over and over and I felt a strain in my quad right above my knee. Me being a football player, just trying to push through the injury and I kept spinning the whole time, and then the next day, I was laid up in <laughs> ice, and I couldn't really walk, I couldn't get out of bed. Oh, I felt like I'd made the wrong call. It was a double-edged sword for me because I feel like I should have stepped in and said no, but at the same time, it was the opportunity to ride with a group. Oh Lord, how am I gonna train now that I'm hurt? There was a lot of frustration, but you know what? We just drilled down, making the adjustments to training, up your swimming, back to the elliptical you go. Dialing back, I'm feeling like I'm, I'm losing all everything that I've worked hard and built up to. You know, it's not easy to become an endurance athlete. It's not easy to compete in Kona. Going 140 miles hurts regardless, and now it's just a matter of finding a way to, to get through it. That's why, like, mentally, yeah, I think I'll be ready for Kona. Just physically, I, I don't know. You're exactly right. That's why I'm that. trying to teach you. Don't be greedy. Training for the Ironman is all consuming. When you try to balance swimming, cycling, and running 15 to 20 hours every week with a job and family, it can put a strain on your loved ones. Lindsay supports Heinz 100% in his quest to become an Ironman, but it's not always easy. Sometimes it's important to get away from the training, so Heinz, Lindsay, and his son Jaden head out for dinner at his favorite Korean restaurant. In the beginning, when Heinz and I were kind of just talking about doing the Ironman, I don't think we really understood what was gonna be expected of him. Signing up for this really takes commitment from your supporting cast. There's a lot of sacrifice that goes into it, and that's something that I think both of us, we wasn't ready for. This is probably the best thing to do before you get married, though, <laughs> because I'm telling you right now. If you can get through all of this. If you can get through an Ironman, you, you can get through anything. Get through anything yeah. I swear. There wasn't like a lot of time for our engagement. It was kind of more like, boom, boom, boom. You know, you get engaged, you're excited about getting married. You know, that should take first priority. And our relationship got kind of put on the back burner. And so when I'm seeing Heinz like mentally exhausted, or he's like emotionally exhausted from all this, there's nothing that I can do to help him. So I'm listening to him and I just feel like helpless. She's very understanding, very supportive, very helpful. He gets a little grumpy. After like a couple weeks of training, I'm like, date night, right. come on, right. can we get some romance? Yeah. Even though we can go through this, we're going through it together. When I'm out there in those events and I'm hearing her, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just hearing it, I know she has my back with Lindsay and my son, they're, they're understanding. Come October, when I cross the finish line, and not only am I crossing the finish line for myself, but for them as well. So it's more of a, it's a team thing. It's a team goal. To see him really push himself, it's to me it's inspiring. So I'm like, hey, I want to do something like that. So we kind of are talking about myself getting out there and doing this after Ironman, not before. Coach Paula is in town to put Heinz through a day of training in order to assess his fitness to make sure Heinz is on the right track 
to get the Kailua Kona healthy. You know, we were a little bit concerned in the first hour. He's like, oh, I think my leg's getting a little bit stiff, and then it was gone. It held up good today, you know, and I didn't really push it. And now it's just a matter of making it to Kona healthy as I possibly can be. Hoping everything continues to stay good with his leg. Pray for me, people. Pray for me. <laughs> it doesn't stop. We're grinding four weeks away to Kona. Go soak in a cold tub, drink a lot of chocolate milk. My day consisted wholly of chocolate milk. It's my everything. Ah. After all of the months of hard training, it's tough to cut back on the volume and intensity. It's all about staying calm and staying the course. Has Heinz done enough to get to the finish line at the holy grail of triathlon? Stay tuned. In future episodes, Heinz and the Become One team touch down on the Big Island of Hawaii and you'll get a VIP pass to all of the events leading up to the toughest day in all of sports. It's the moment we've been waiting for all year. It's Ironman World Championship Week on Become One. <laughs>